Hello and welcome to today's episode of Full Throttle. So, as per usual, we're going to start off with this event week's discounts and bonuses. So, we're going to start off with the two times money in RP on Survival Series. Uh, two times money in RP on Special Cargo Cell Missions. Uh, two times money in RP on VIP work and challenges, so Headhunter, Hostile Takeover, all them jobbies. Also, just for logging in this week, you get the Dinka T to go along with the new Dinka car. Uh, the discounts and benefits says balancing a budget is tough, but it's a necessary process for any. Aspiring Mastermind, take 40% off Executive Offices, Executive Office Garages, MC Clubhouses, and the Pegasus Centorno, the Pegasus Oppressor, Buckingham Luxor, Buckingham Luxor Deluxe, the X80 Proto, the Ch Chavel Ch Tapin, uh, all yachts, shotguns, throwable weapons, and heavy weapons. And also 35% off all special cargo warehouses, garages, and properties. The six seater insurgent, TM2 Kanjali, Armored Kruma, and the B11 Strike Force. The Twitch Prime benefits for this week are the um, the 72 hour rebate of the Pixel Pete Arcade. Uh, along with 30% off the ticket price for the fire truck and the lifeguard truck, and any extra 10% off the discounted, off 10% discounts listed above. The premium race is Downtown Underground, locked to Superclass. The time trial is Great Ocean Highway, which is from the rooftop of a parking lot to the little sea bar thing, wherever it is. Uh, the RC Bandito is construction site 2. For the vehicles this week, we've actually got two new releases, as you can tell. One being the new Dinka, which is front wheel drive, very mad driving. I haven't bought it. It's very cheap and it's not worth. To me, it's not worth it, but to you, it's very good. If you like customizing cars, and this one has a very many, many different variations that you can have. Um, but the talk of the town this week is the new F1 car, which is the Progen, uh, the Progen PR4. Um, which also says on the Rockstar Newswire that the open wheel race series will begin on the 27th meaning the end of this event week so the f1 cars are they good well as of right now we don't really know because you can't actually buy it on any of the websites in game you actually have to win it which i had managed to do luckily um, you actually have to win it to drive it. You can, once you've won it, you can drive it, you can customise it, you can do all that. It's not like you win it and it's locked until the uh, open wheel races come. No, nope. once you win it, that's it. You can drive it around, you can do what you want with it. Has got some ups and downs, but not the downs aren't exactly bad. They're just, you know, understandable with the type of car that it is. Um... The customizations you've got not a lot but you've got some good variations of the fronts uh, the front wing back wing little side bits the actual body the um, secondary and primary colors as you can see there mainly primary little bits on the secondary the wheels you can change the colors so you either get the little striped which I've got on there at the moment a little red stripe around the end or normal one which the entire rim would be red like you see in most cars um, tires as normal bulletproof tire smoke but instead of just the one type of tire you get 
I think it's five? Six if you include the stock, so you've got, I think, three colours of the ones that I've got on at the moment, two other ones, and then two more atomic, and for, for whatever the other one is. Um, liveries, obviously as it being racing, a bit like the hot, hot ring race car, they're very much um, product based. So you got obviously all the in-game, you got the Sprunk, you got Redwood. Um, what's the tire one? What's the... I don't know what the other one is. But yeah, you got quite a few on there. Handling. So, th this is one of the down bits. The handling is... Um, it's a bit funny because of the steering now it can't do wide turns there is a way to do tight no it can't do tight turns there is a way to do tight turns but just turning the wheel it has a pretty wide turning circle so you gotta watch out for that you've also got to watch out for hitting curbs at a certain angle uh, that's also a bit of a it's a bit of a funny thing uh, if you hit a lamppost or you go head-on collision to another car uh, it doesn't take much for the entire body to completely fall off so everything that can come off will come off um, but that's pretty much the only downsides obviously including the price of three plus mil if you don't win it on the podium car um, so just by winning it you've saved millions this week already without even selling loads of stuff um, which I will do a my technique of selling um, cargo um, with my kind of circumstances so I'll explain that a little later in another video for this week mainly um, acceleration very good the turn in at speed traction is practically off the scale so you ain't got to worry about spinning the wheels out, uh, which you'll probably see some of that in a minute. Um, going around the airport, some going full speed round turns. Air the airport is good for this car because there's a lot of space and you can get some pretty good high speed turns. Um, <clears throat> but there's not really much to say about the car um, at the moment we're not able to because it's not actually released yet we're not able to use it in custom races so hopefully I will get it on to the test track um, and do an actual lap time to see how fast it goes around the track but I did do a a quick test lap on free roam just from memory of what the track is uh, that's what this turned out like
and it's very it is very good at the handling of tight turns because the technique of not using your brake and just letting go of the accelerator is very much used for this as you'll see here in a minute as we come around to this bit this little circle part it's very but that's it done that's that circle done I barely took my finger off the throttle so it's very good um, how it will compare to others uh, racing we'll have to see once the open wheel races come along because a lot of people will be we all know what races are like crashing into one another that's pretty much all they're like um, but an overall estimate it's a very good car you're gonna need one if you're gonna be doing the open wheel races you're gonna need one so try and get the podium car I'll do another video a little later of how to but hopefully you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next one